Hi everybody, thank you for tuning in. My name is A.B. Lieberman, and I am the CEO and founder of Clicks Talent, a TikTok influencer marketing agency that specializes in promoting and marketing social media apps, brands, products, and services on the TikTok platform. I've been working in the social media marketing industry for the past five years, and I've been highly involved in the industry since TikTok's inception. Today, I'm here to talk to you about marketing your brand on TikTok, why it's important, how to do it, and what the benefits are. To provide some structure here, my talk is going to be divided into two parts. How TikTok started, who's behind it, and what it's all about. And number two, we'll be focused on how to run a campaign on TikTok, choosing who to work with, how to select the best influencers for your brand, measuring ROI, pricing, etc. So let's start at the basics. It all started with the failure of a huge social media app called Vine. I won't bore you with too many details, but basically, what you need to know is that it failed majorly. The owners of the app refused to pay its top creators to continue using the app. Now, righteously so, these powerful influencers decided to leave the app and go to other apps that were willing to pay them. Just like that, Within a matter of months, Vine lost most of their user base and shortly thereafter shut down for good. This story only goes to show you just how much power the influencer marketing world has. A few months after Vine's demise, a social media app called Musical.ly started gaining attention. On Musical.ly, users were able to create short form video content with audio overlays. It was best known as the dance app where users would record themselves dancing to the music from the app. As Musical.ly grew, a Chinese corporation called ByteDance saw their potential and bought them out for a reported $1 billion back in 2016. At the time, ByteDance owned multiple successful apps in China with their main app being Douyin, the TikTok equivalent in China. ByteDance launched TikTok in the US at the end of 2017. And a few months later in 2018, migrated their user base from Musical.ly to TikTok, shutting down Musical.ly and gaining TikTok over 100 million users overnight. Just to clarify and make sure we are all on the same page, TikTok is a social media app which allows users to record videos of up to 60 seconds with a broad variety of filters and audio overlays to choose from. Today, there are currently 689 million users on TikTok. That's over 600% growth in just three years. Most of the users are between the ages of 13 and 25. In terms of content, TikTok has grown substantially since it first launched. It is no longer just a dance platform. TikTok now has content ranging from glass blowing, face painting, DIY crafts, educational videos, comedy, acrobatics, musicians, artists, and the list goes on. Alrighty, now that you know some of the background behind this enormous app, let's get into the exciting part. How can you use TikTok to market your product or raise brand awareness? TikTok has become a major player in promoting music since it allowed audio placement in the background of a video. That's essentially how advertising on TikTok began. When artists noticed they can advertise their music by uploading it to TikTok and having influencers use their song in their videos. Today, ads on TikToks have evolved to encompass much more than just music. It's expanded to products. It's expanded to services, promotions of other apps, websites, etc. So really, any type of business can use TikTok for insane marketing ads. Before I give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to start a campaign on TikTok, it's crucial you understand a key element of TikTok, the For You page and the Following page. These pages are the two main pages you see when you open the app. The Following page shows the user all the content made by the accounts that they personally follow. The For You page shows the user content that the TikTok algorithm believes they will be interested in. The For You page is what you care about. That's where the majority of the users spend their time because it's the home feed of the app, and that is where viral content is shown. Your goal is to get your ads on the For You page where an influencer with 10,000 followers has the chance to have their video viewed 
by over 10 million people. Now that you understand the For You page and how it works, let's go over the step-by-step -step guide on how to launch a TikTok campaign. Number one, finding the influencers. So you decided that you want to promote your product or your brand on TikTok. But now what? Where do you start? Well, you have five options when it comes to finding influencers on TikTok to market your brand. You can work directly with an influencer. You can work with a management agency. You can work with a PR agency. You can work with a marketing agency. And last but not least, you can work with an influencer agency. Let's talk about each of those. So working directly with an influencer. Working directly with an influencer involves going into TikTok, searching up a hashtag, a song, a topic, searching through all the influencers and finding the influencer that fits your brand. Finding the right influencer is usually not this straightforward, but let's just say that you are able to find one that matches your brand who also has high quality content. You then need to create terms that work for the both of you and hopefully everything runs smoothly. But usually it doesn't. Influencers take a very long time to respond. At times they are unreliable since a majority of them are between the ages of 15 and 25. They have school, relationship problems, family problems, etc. that all distracts them from properly promoting your product. So you might find an influencer to work with you who agrees to your terms, signs a contract with you, and then disappears. Now what are you left with? You sent them your product, you sent them your money, but now what? A few other potential problems that could arise are influencers deleting their posts after one day because it doesn't perform well, influencers not creating the content based off of the guidelines and terms that you agreed upon, you end up paying way above market rate, or you pay for fake followers slash fake engagement. Your next option is to go through a management agency. Management agencies typically manage anywhere between 1 and 30 influencers individually. These agencies have a strong relationship with each of their influencers and can usually deliver what is promised. The issue with management agencies is that they are very limited. As I said, they usually manage up to 30 influencers. What happens when none of those influencers fit your brand or are too expensive? Another big pitfall with management agencies is that they are usually much more expensive than any other option. The third option on this list is a PR agency. PR agencies market themselves as talent agencies or other marketing agencies, even though they are not that. They don't have a network of influencers, nor do they represent or manage any influencers directly. They do not come up with any marketing concepts and do not have any creative team working for them. What they usually do is they send out a mass email to thousands of influencers from lists that they buy online. And then they just hire whoever is the cheapest and gives them the highest profit. They do not vet for content or engagement or who the influencer is. They just do mass marketing campaigns and are highly disconnected from the influencer. The fourth option when it comes to finding an influencer for TikTok is hiring a marketing agency. A marketing agency is similar to a PR agency in that they don't work directly with any influencers. The difference between the two is that marketing agencies usually have their own internal network of influencers that they have worked with in the past who are vetted and reliable. They also usually have their own creative team working to come up with marketing concepts. They do some vetting of influencers, but usually it's very minimal. So you're getting a little bit more reliability than a PR agency, but they still lack that strong relationship with the influencer, causing a large amount of unreliability. Last but not least, you can hire an influencer agency. Influencer agencies generally represent anywhere from 30 to 1,000 influencers. These agencies usually work closely and individually with their influencers and have a large network of influencers that can provide great pricing and a variety of content to fit your needs. Influencer agencies also vet their influencers, ensuring quality content, engagement, and following. Many of them have a creative team that comes up with marketing concepts for your campaigns. Unfortunately, even with an influencer agency, you may still have a situation where an influencer backs out and becomes unreliable. That being said, 
A good quality agency will always have a backup plan, such as replacement influencers on standby, so as not to ruin the results of your campaign. In case you got lost among these explanations, here's a quick summary. Influencer agencies, management agencies, and individual influencers are the ones who are hired by marketing agencies and PR agencies at a premium with no added benefit. That means that you need to decide if you want to use an influencer agency, a management agency, or an individual influencer based on the pros and cons of each. Now we get to the second part of this presentation, selecting the right influencers. After you've decided where to start, most agencies will give you a variety of influencers to choose from. So how do you know which to choose? What metrics should you be looking at? First, you need to check the influencer's content quality and type. You need to ask yourself, would you watch their videos? Do you find these videos entertaining? Does their content fit your branding? Remember, the influencer promoting your product essentially becomes the face of your brand. So for example, if you sell shoes, maybe hiring a makeup influencer isn't the best idea. Then you have the actual data. I'm talking about views and engagement. The most important thing to remember about selecting an influencer on TikTok is not to look at the amount of followers. It is completely irrelevant to the influencer's ability to deliver on the campaign. Most influencers blow up on TikTok by having a video go viral on the For You page. They gain millions of followers who then go back into the app and watch more videos on the For You page, not on the following page. So they never really see that influencer's content ever again. You need to focus on views and engagement. Engagement is where the money is. You want the influencers to choose the videos that are so entertaining that not only are 1 million people watching it, but at least 10% of those people like it enough to stop what they're doing and either like, comment, or share the video that they're watching. Those are the influencers that have the power and are actually influencing. These are the influencers that will get their viewers to stop and go click the link to your website, buy your product or service, or even just look you up on Google and see who you are. Now you have a question. What should you focus on? Views or engagement? What's more important? Well, it depends on what your campaign goals are. If your goal is to increase brand awareness, Focus on the views. You want as many eyeballs on that content as possible. However, if you're trying to increase sales and require the viewer to go look you up or click a link, then engagement is what really matters because those are the people who are going to stop what they're doing to interact with the content and potentially go look you up or click on the link. Lastly, I'll talk a little bit about pricing. Specifically at my agency, Clicks Talent, we price based off the engagement of the influencer. We take other factors into account like content quality, reliability, as well as some other factors, but the main factor is engagement. My personal advice to you is that you should never work with a company or an influencer that prices based off their followers. Pricing in the industry varies greatly. You have an influencer that will get $100 for a post today and $5,000 for a post tomorrow. That's a real life example of something I have personally witnessed. The main reason for this is due to the lack of knowledge for standard pricing on TikTok. Overall, you should expect to spend anywhere from $4,000 to $6,000 per campaign in order to see some kind of a result. However, take this quote with a grain of salt. As I said, prices vary greatly. We now get into the last part of this presentation, how to measure your ROI. You've chosen your influencers, came up with your marketing concept, launched your campaign. The influencers have posted their content. Views are through the roof. It's now one to two weeks since the last video has been posted and everything looks amazing. But is it? H how do you know? How do you measure the return on your investment and see if what you just paid for is actually bringing in results? So there's two ways to do this. The first way is using internal data. 
It's important to note that when you run a marketing campaign on TikTok, you need to think of it as if you just paid for a billboard on the side of a highway. A billboard on the side of a highway is not a clickable link. It doesn't tell you how many people saw the billboard. It doesn't have any measurable data for you to know if your billboard was a success. But what it does do is it shoves your brand in front of thousands, if not millions of people's faces. And what that does is it increases brand awareness. That is the main goal with TikTok. There are ways to measure tangible results, which we'll get to in a moment. But for the majority of campaigns, you will not be able to measure any tangible result. Rather, you'll be building your brand awareness. And you will have to see if you are getting an influx in website visits, app downloads, or purchases after you run a campaign. So if you run a TikTok campaign and you don't run any other campaigns simultaneously, you can conclude that any increase in sales is credited to your TikTok campaign. Now, the second way to measure ROI is using a feature called Link in Bio, which allows users to include a link in their bio. When an influencer posts content with a promotion, they would include your link in their bio. And that's how you can measure how many people are going to your link through this influencer or overall campaign. From the viewer's perspective, if they are interested in the influencer's video and going to the link mentioned, they need to go to the influencer's profile and then click the link in their bio. Remember, these viewers are usually on the For You page. So this requires them to leave scrolling through interesting and engaging content and go into the influencer's profile. As you can imagine, this is no easy task. This is why I speak mostly about brand awareness, because of the following. The first video the viewer comes across is at best interesting to them, but they will probably keep scrolling. They saw it and it increased your brand awareness, but nothing happened. The goal here is to have the next video and the next video and the next video all promoting your brand. Because once the viewer sees multiple videos mentioning your brand, chances are they are going to go into one of the influencers bios, click on the link in order to see who the hell are these people and what are they selling? Again, we come back to wanting those tangible results and the potential pitfalls we have with them. If I post a video promoting your brand and then someone else posts a video and a third person posts another video, but only the third person was able to get their viewer to click on the link, does that mean that my video did not deliver results? No, that is not what it means because I raised your brand awareness. I planted the seed in the viewer's mind. The second influencer grew that seed and the third influencer is where the viewer finally got bought and decided, let me go look into who these people are. I've seen them so many times. I'm now interested. So based on your data, you're going to see that the first two influencers returned to zero ROI, while the third influencer got people to click through and go and look at their content. So based on your data, you're going to see that the first two influencers returned no ROI, while the third influencer did. However, that's not accurate and shouldn't be the only metric used. That's Lincoln Bio. After all that intense talk, let's quickly summarize everything. TikTok is a massive social media platform that every brand should utilize for marketing their product or building brand awareness. As earlier mentioned, yes, the majority of users are between the ages of 13 and 25. However, TikTok's entire demographic includes anyone between the ages of 13 and 65. Most influencers have a 50-50 ratio when it comes to male versus female. When it comes to geographical location, you have influencers where they have followers in South America, North America, Europe, Middle East, Asia, Australia, South Africa, almost every single country has some form of representation when it comes to influencers who can market your product or brand to them specifically. Selecting how to run your campaign is crucial as there are many advantages and disadvantages to the different ways of finding an influencer. Selecting your influencers depends on your marketing goals. If you're looking to raise brand awareness, focus on views. If you're looking to make sales, focus on engagement rate. 
Regardless of which metric you are focusing on, make sure the influencer's content is high quality, entertaining, engaging, and most importantly, fits with your brand. Lastly, when your campaign is finished, you can use your internal data while no other marketing efforts are being run or track the link in bio with clicks to determine ROI. So now that you're a pro on the matter, I hope you feel less intimidated by TikTok marketing and confident enough to run a successful campaign to market your brand or product. TikTok is extremely powerful and my goal is to get more brands and marketing individuals comfortable with utilizing it for their needs. Once your team decides to go ahead with a campaign, my talent agency, Clicks Talent, is just a click away. www.clickstalent.com or you can find us on any social media platform. We currently represent over 500 influencers on a non-exclusive basis, over 100 influencers on an exclusive basis, and have a network of over 3,000 influencers, all of whom we are directly and personally in contact with. You can find high quality and competitive pricing in our agency because we work directly with these influencers or their personal manager. And the best of all is, we don't charge any marketing fees, no retainer fees, nothing of the sort. Our pricing is included in influencer pricing. And whatever you pay for the influencer is all that you are paying. It was a pleasure chatting here. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. I'm always available and happy to answer and help other companies in this industry start to foray into the TikTok influencer marketing world. Thank you and have an amazing day.